and hello everybody. Welcome to this first tutorial on streaming DDO. I'm going to point you towards the very easiest way to stream first. Um, if you have a GeForce card that is compatible which you can find here on GeForce.com, GeForce Experience System Requirements. It requires GeForce GTX Class GPU 900, 700, 600, 900, 800, 700, and select 600 M series. If you meet those requirements, then you can use Shadow Play. And it is the very easiest way to stream DDO. I like it for several reasons, and I don't like it for other reasons, but uh, it, in terms of getting up and going quickly and easily, this is the thing you want to use. So you get that here from GeForce Experience. And hit the download now, watch the video if you want to learn about it. And uh, there you have it. So you download that, run the installer, get everything installed. It's nice in that it updates your video drivers for you. It updates itself for you, um, or at least alerts you when things are available. And you'll be presented with whatever games you have installed that are supported by it. It'll do a game scan. And you can see drivers up to date and some stats about what you're using. Um, if you have a shield, you can stream to the shield as well. But what we're mostly concerned over here in preferences, it'll start with general. Um, you can look at games. But the real thing you want to look at is shadow play. That's what we're looking at. Game stream is when you're streaming your game from your computer to your shield. Shadow play is Twitch and all that streaming. So you have a couple little configuration things. Uh, if you have a camera, you can choose the size and position. I highly recommend using the status indicator. And you can change positions if you want to. And it will show you on the monitor here to the right what it would look like if you actually did that. I like keeping it down here, but it's up to you. And then frame per second can count. You can do the same thing. You quadrant the screen, let it go. Microphone, always on a push talk. This is one of my problems with um, shadow play, is there's no mute. It's either always on or push to talk. I would really like just a toggle for mute or talking, either whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, that would be a lot easier to deal with, in particularly in MMO streaming situations, I think. But they don't have that. Anyway, then down here you can see your keyboard shortcuts. Um, Shadow Play is an interesting thing where it can save gameplay as you play. Because it does run off of the graphics card, it can save some CPU cycles, which isn't handy when playing an MMO. Of course, it pushes your graphics card harder, so you got to be careful about cooling and all that. But for the most part, you shouldn't notice too much system lag when you're using this to record. That's one of the features that's really nice about it. But what it does is it saves the last 20 minutes recorded, or you can tell it how long you want to save, and it'll just automatically save that if you just want to do that. Manual recording on and off and save, you can do that with Alt F9. Broadcasting is Alt F8. You can also do a pause. You can toggle your camera on and off, push a talk, and the FPS counter on and off while you're broadcasting. Usually you don't mess with those. The only thing you want to know is Alt F8 is you're broadcasting on and off. That's the main point. You also can come up here, oh, sorry, at the bottom you can save your recordings and temporary file locations. You can map those to whatever you want. Come up here to Shadow Play. And this is where you set the options. It'll come in here and it'll be off by default. You want to turn it on. And then this settings button goes back to this page in the background. This file location goes to this location here. And then you start with what do you want to do? Shadow and manual recording, which means it automatically saves, or you can toggle it yourself. Shadow, which is it automatically does is, and you can say, hey, I want to save that last 20 minutes or whatever. Manual, which is strictly on and off. This is what I use when I'm doing recordings, um, like tutorial videos and such, if I want to just use that. And then Twitch, if you actually want to broadcast to Twitch. Now, Twitch broadcasting, of course, this is one reason I don't like um, Shadow Play is that you have to log in with your username and password. You don't use a stream key, you use your username and password. I don't like that. It really should use a screen, stream key like everything else does. Um, anyway, 
but you just hit select switch here, start streaming that, and then again, it tells you broadcasting on and off is Alt F8. That's your hotkey for that. And then you set your quality. You can customize it however you want. You can do the frame weight, frame rate and bit rate. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Frame rate and bit rate and all that fun stuff are selectable there. Or just use the low-medium higher options and test them out and see how they feel for you. And the audio options are in-game, in-game plus microphone are off. Normally you're probably going to want to do in-game plus microphone. Um, it's up to you really. But you can also turn audio off if you want to do something else with the audio. And uh, that's really all you have to set up. Then you just go into DTO, you hit Alt-8 to toggle broadcasting on and off, and you're going. So there you go. That's how easy and simple it is to use that. I want to come back here for a minute and look at shadow play because you do have the shadow time depending on your hard drive space and your system requirements. You can set it very low or very high. The maximum is 20 minutes, which it says will take about 4.5 gigs at the current rate of everything. As I said, I don't really use that. But you have to realize is that that is the same for your combination of resolution and bitrate for any of them really. And a big, huge downside to this app, if you have Windows 7, is that for some reason they made a huge mistake, I feel, in that you cannot have just one file if you are streaming for a long time or even just saving a video for a long time, it will automatically break it up into chunks, which is ridiculous. Um, if you use this on Windows 8, however, due to the way they handled the coding for the file saving, it does not slow up the files. So you can have a 10, 16 gig file, no problem. If you're using Windows 8, but in Windows 7, you'll have smaller chunks. And I really dislike that. So for here, you can see my recordings from OBS. I have some 8 gig, 5 gig files, almost 10 gigs there. Some large files. But if I go into these files, which are from... Shadow play, you will see where I have multiple files, and they're in these chunks of roughly 4 gigs. So instead of having one 10 or 12 gig file, they're in chunks of around 4 gigs, which is really messy. And then you'd have to stitch them together if you want to do just one file, uploading YouTube and stuff like that. And it's just it's a boneheaded move as far as I'm concerned on NVIDIA's part to do that. So, although this is really quick and easy, I don't really re recommend it. But anyway, there you go. That's the quick, dirty, easy way to stream DDO, and then you just launch DDO as normal, and as I said, you'll see what happens from there. Now, I'm not sure when I switch over here, I run DDO ML instead of the uh, normal client. And we'll see if this comes through on on OBS. Yeah, it does. OK. And then we'll see what happens if I try to engage Shadowplay while I'm doing OBS. I hope there's no conflict. But you just do Alt F8. Uh, I don't have that set up. Alt F9, one of those. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's working at the moment, which is not surprising. Yeah, it says Alt F9 should do it, and Alt F9 is definitely not doing it at the moment. So, Anyway, the other nice thing about Shadowplay is that it does let you stream and record in full screen, which OBS does not. So if I go to full screen... Oh, there it goes. It is recording now. So you can see down here in the bottom right corner, if you can see my mouse down here, 
that my microphone is live and I've got the recording somewhere. So it is working in full screen on DDO where I believe OBS does not. I don't know if you can see my screen when I switch, but it is working. And I'll go ahead and turn that off because there's no reason to double record this. It'll stay active for a few seconds showing a little arrow in the green light saying it's recording, then showing it's saving to disk, and then you're done. So yeah, that's how easy it is to use Shadow Play to record DDO. And thank you for watching that. I'm going to go ahead and throw this up here. Always appreciate follows on Twitch and YouTube and subscriptions and likes and favorites and all of that fun stuff. Appreciate you watching. More videos coming soon. Thanks a lot.